Welcome to another episode of Cooking Battle. Today we're playing the burger challenge with two pastets. Let's get to the game. So as you can see, our team has two pastets and the opponent's team has a pastet and a nishin. So let's see if we can do this. So burger challenge actually will only activate when you have reached at least master level. So um, it's pretty easy, it's 4 ingredients but you only have to grill the meat. If you look at your top right hand corner, sorry your top left hand corner, there is there is uh, um, an icon beside below the meat actually. It says pan fry it, so the rest doesn't have to, so the cheese, the cabbage, you just have to chop it. But when it comes to the meat, you have to grill it. So it's pretty easy to understand graphics and um... Bustets are fast, but their only weakness is a double Ishin team. So if you have a double Bustet team and you meet the opponent which has two Ishins, you're kind of in for trouble because you look at the rate Ishins are uh, cutting the vegetable, uh, the vegetables, whatever, the cheese. They actually can cut at a faster rate than Bustets because Bustets actually uses the trial and error method when they pick up the item and switch it up. So, and there is a clear difference between serving burgers on a plate and serving burgers without a plate. And in a moment, you will be able to see. So I'll be serving the burger without the plate and my partner will be serving the burger with the plate. And you will see a clear point difference when it comes to presentation. So the customers will be picky. And when you serve it without the plate, it's 83 points for the same recipe. If my if my partner serves it with the plate, it actually racks up a lot more points. So if you have the time, please do serve the ingredient. Uh, sorry, please do serve the burgers on the plate because uh, presentation-wise, the customers will prefer it to be served on the plate. Look at that. If you're if you're doing like a last minute point accumulation where you had you, you had to just beat your opponent by just a little bit of points, do serve the burgers without the plate because then you'll be able to grab the last win. However, if you're way ahead of your opponents like me and my partner right now, you don't necessarily have to serve the burgers without the plate. Well, for me, I guess it's just a laziness. <laughs> my my partner actually gave me the plate on on the. If, as you can see, my partner passed me a plate, but I didn't use it. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Maybe I'm stupid, but it's fine. So. So it's pretty easy making burgers because you just have to grill one ingredient which is the meat. The rest, like the cheese and the lettuce, you just have to chop it up, put it into the burger and nothing much actually. So the stats uh, chopping rate is definitely much slower than Ishin. So if you have a double Ishin team, not sure whether I told you this just now, but if you have a double Ishin team, then the stats... Uh, practically will probably most likely lose the challenge so as you can see when i took a plate and i serve it as you can see in the moment it's 104 points and there's a tw 20 point difference which can actually rack up the the point score by If you add up 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and it actually adds up to a thousand. So it can set up a point difference from a 2.5 to a 1.5. And that is how big of a difference serving with a plate and without the plate actually do. So the sets are very easy to get. They are... You just have to complete a certain. You just have to complete a certain 
Ah, uh, let me think. Sorry. You just have to complete the trophy road because you get the bestat actually when you obtain at least a silver rank in the trophy road. And you get her skin, which is the one that I'm doing right now, also in the trophy road. So that's the end of this episode. Hope to see you in the next episode, guys.